Hi, I'm Sean Grimes and I'm the Director of Technology for the Digital Hardware Foundation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your PrinterBot Simple Metal. You really shouldn't have to do this very often, if at all, but I thought I would share it just in case. This should be considered an intermediate or advanced skill, so make sure you're comfortable using your printer before trying this. Now the reason I originally upgraded my firmware was because I didn't like how the auto-leveling probe started at the Home X and Home Y position. On some of my printers, the fan would get caught on the printer body, and I felt that it threw off some of the calibrations. So I changed the firmware so that it would do the first probe about 20 millimeters from the edge, which gave my fan plenty of clearance. You will need an alligator clip, the PrinterBot firmware updater program, and the new PrinterBot firmware that you want to install. Start by unplugging the power from your printer and sliding the bed towards the power plugs. Then put the printer on its side. Now plug the power back into the printer. Locate the boot pins and the reset button. The boot pins will be two metal pins sticking out of a white mount. You'll need to use an alligator clip to connect the two pins together. Be careful not to touch any other metal on the board. I find that just one clip across both pins works great, and just make sure the other end of the alligator clip is covered so it doesn't touch anything else. Now press the reset button. On your computer, locate the updated firmware and drag and drop it onto the PrinterBot Firmware Updater Program. Do not launch the PrinterBot Firmware Updater Program by itself. If you've done everything else in this video, you can just hit the Next buttons through the prompts until you see the success screen. Now, remove the alligator clips from the boot pins and press the reset button again. Your new firmware should take effect now. Thanks, and I hope you've enjoyed this short little video. If you have any other 3D printing related questions, whether they be simple or advanced, feel free to send them my way, sean at digitalharbor.org, and I'll try to answer them or put up a video for everyone. Thanks.